We should not be going out the house like this, ever. Never, at no point of no time, of no day. Never. I'm gonna show you how to make a cheap wig look not so cheap. Keep in mind what you don't spend any money, you will spend time. It's gonna be a little bit of work, but you can definitely look cute while on a budget. I just put the wig on and this is how it's looking. I have my wig cap under, but I don't think you really can see it, but I do have it under. I cut the combs out because I don't need combs. The color looks really nice once it's brushed out. Most of this work is going to be done on the wig head, dome head, mannequin head. I get this from Amazon so I'll link this down below as well. It's just easier to do it up here so you can really see what's going on. You see I have this indention right here. We're going to straighten that out. We're going to work on the part. The part is going to get the most of our attention because that's what's really going to make it look wiggy and then as far as the length of the hair the ends feel a little bit dry i would say it's like 20 26 28 inches i'm gonna cut it because i don't need it to be that long the first thing i did is cut the hair um i didn't cut as short as i would have liked i easily could have did another four to five inches but this is where i started and i am gonna go in later to thin it out because as you can see it's really blunt and heavy at the ends I'm gonna get started on the hairline and the lace I'm showing you just how it looks I'll link the mannequin head the wig stand and these pins down below even though the pins pulled at the hair they're good to have if you do plan to use a wig head I'm using one of the pins to weave in and out of the hairline so that I can pull out some of that bulk. I am pulling with my fingers, my hand, because you don't want to use tweezers. You will easily rip a hole in this lace. Do not use tweezers. It takes a little bit longer to do it with your fingers, but it's going to be a mess if you try to pull all these hairs out with the tweezers. So I'm weaving like a weaving basket in, out, in, out, in, out. The hair that I take out, I'm going to wrap around my finger and pull out. The hair, the hair is laid like in a straight line from ear to ear and then from the front to back, straight lines. So on each line, I skip like two or three hairs, pull, two or three hairs, pull. I hope that makes sense. And I did pull a lot of hair. Now the thing about this wig is really thick, so you don't have to, once you, at the end you'll see I pulled a lot of hair, I cut a lot of hair, I thinned out a lot of hair, but the wig was still pretty thick. So don't be worried about that, you need to get the bulk out so that it can look a little bit more realistic. Now this is the before and the after, one side done, one side not done, and it looks a lot better. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the part. This lace, I mean, it's not lace, it's not lace at all. This part actually went back pretty deep. Most don't, so, you just have to work with what you got. Luckily for us, this one, it had a pretty deep part. So I just went ahead and parted it all the way back as far as I could. And then I'm pulling out the hair to make the part. Because if, if you remember in the beginning, you could only see like maybe three inches of parting space. There's more, but the hair was just covering it. So that's what I'm doing now. 
wrapping it around my finger and pulling it out. Also, you do not want to pull a bunch of the hair at one time. I'm probably doing two or three, not even three, two, two hairs at a time. The more you pull, the more pressure you're putting on the fake lace and that's gonna cause it to rip as well. And if you notice, I did pull some in the front as well, just to straighten out the part. And this is how it's looking. It's a mess, but we're going to fix it. It's an easy fix. And I'm just going to use my, what is that palette? It's the Morphe, I don't know, browns. It's a bunch of browns. Any brown to match the hair will do. And I'm just mixing some together to match the color of the hair. And then I'm also going to use a black to match I mean, not to match, to conceal the part, you'll see. So yes, like I was saying, right now I mixed my browns together to appear the same color as the hair, and it's just gonna make the part close up and look a little bit more defined. So if you end up pulling too much hair, it's easy to fix. So we went from really patchy and a mess to pretty defined, but we're not done with the part just yet. I'm going to use this duo lash glue and this glue, it looks purple, but it's going to dry clear, but you want to try to keep it off the hair as much as you can. When you go in with your heat, it will make it turn white and kind of flaky. So I'm just taking that down the part. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's not real lace, it's plastic. So if you just put your powder or your foundation or concealer on top, if it rains or if your scalp, your fake scalp rubs against something, it will come off. So we have to do a little bit more to make sure that it adheres. So once it's semi dry, mine wasn't all the way dry, but it was getting kind of tacky. So I started to put my concealer. I'm using the concealer I put on my face, which is the LA Girl Cool Tan. Yeah, LA Girl Pro Concealer Cool Tan. And here I'm showing you where the line is not straight. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer and it's straight. I'm going back into the Morphe palette. I'm taking this light color and putting it on the concealer. So we did glue, concealer, powder. If you have a, a reddish orange undertone, then you don't want to use that kind of concealer on your part. So just try to go for something neutral or put a neutral powder on top of your regular concealer. Next is just the cleanup. If you don't, you know, if you're not as messy as I was, you won't have to do this, but I'm taking the tail of my comb and placing a darker color to mimic the brown of the root area. And I'm putting that to just clean up the part a little bit more. And the final step for the part at least is just spray it with got to be. That's gonna make sure that it sticks as well. I'm telling you, this is not real lace. It is plastic on top of plastic. So you got, you cannot treat it like it's real hair. You gotta do a little bit extra. And this, you do have to let it completely dry down. It looks like it's something on my lace, but it's not. It's just, it's actually on the dome head. So when I lift the lace up, you won't be able to see it. If you don't want your part in it to be as deep, you don't have to go as deep. You don't have to use the same colors as me. You can make it your own. It's just like the basics are the same. Now we're going in with heat. I'm using my hot comb, a curling wand, a um, flat, 
why can't I talk? A flat iron curling on, waving wand, anything that heats up will work. What I'm doing is going through only the root area and then I'm pulling pretty top at the length of the hair to flatten it out. This wig is pretty puffy in the middle. Puffiness usually looks very fake. So we have to do all we can to get it as flat as we can, which also means making sure our hair underneath is flat. I have the hot comb on a five. I wouldn't recommend going no higher than that. This is not real hair. I don't want to keep having to say it, but somebody's going to say, well, I thought that a 10. No, no, no. Keep the heat low. Also, I'm not pulling all the way through the hair because it's synthetic. It will tingle. It doesn't need all that heat. I just am trying to focus on the top middle. It does look good, but you have to remember it's two pieces of plastic sitting on top of each other and then sitting on our head. So it's only going to be so flat. Next, I went in to thin out the hair. Now, if you don't cut the hair, you can definitely skip this part. I'm using my thinning shears and this is how they look. Very similar to regular shears, but they had the little teeth cut into them. So I went in and once I did it, this is how the ends of the front looked. A lot more smooth, see-through a little bit. Not too see-through, but you know, it looks nice. So the way you use your shears, um, you cut into the hair. And then you usually would slide down. But since this is synthetic, we ain't gonna do all that because it's gonna be tangly. So I cut and then I just combed the hair out. I cut horizontal diagonal the reason being is because horizontal is just I mean it's standard and then the diagonal is going to blend out the lines since this hair is um, has highlights it's very easy for those highlights to look choppy if you don't do diagonal cuts now like I said this is really not enough. oh look at see, see this 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 is why I didn't show a lot of this because I kept picking up the real shears and cutting and I did that at a piece in the front so yeah, if you want a full video on how to take the bulk out of your hair, let me know. I definitely could do it. The final step on the mannequin head would be to cut off our lace and then I'm going to do something different. I'm going to file it. The reason I file I'm using just a regular nail file is because this lace is thicker. It's not transparent. It's not HD. Nothing like that. It's not even Swiss. So I needed to be, I wanted to fray it out a little so that it could, you know, just look more seamless. It would have been better if I had a smaller nail file, but yeah, I wasn't putting any glue hairspray gel. So fraying it out with the nail file worked. This is pretty thick. So putting foundation here isn't really going to do anything. So I'm going to put it on top. Right in the front, whatever is left on the brush. Whatever was left. And then we're just going to put her on. Put her on. So I got my adjustable strap. You can use some of what I'm saying in this video on different wigs. Not all synthetic wigs are... Um, are made the same because some of them don't have the double netting like this wig has some of them It's just like a regular virgin hair wig. It's just one lace and it's good to go Some aren't it's just like you just got to play around with it I promise you if you take your time you can make any wig look good as far as the quality um, It's very synthetic. I'll say that uh, I pay for this by myself There's no like review or anything, but it is very synthetic I wouldn't wear it if I knew I was gonna be doing something that involved a lot of moving like even getting up and getting down because it's going to tangle and it does shed but when it's brushed out as you can see my fingers go right through and it's pretty but if I start moving then it's gonna be a little bit of a mess so 
keep that in mind this hair is from amazon and i will link it down below overall it looks good nobody's gonna look at it and think it's virgin hair though that would be a push but it looks really nice way better than before and all it took was a little bit of time a little bit of love care in time and that is it for this video leave me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel let me know if you like these type of videos i could do another if you want a pixie cut or a full blonde wig if you want me to curl this hair when i cut it let me know in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video